Hi guys and girls, long time no see. I've just got back from placement. I had a really good day and to make it even better, I came home to a Spooky Box Club delivery. And then to make it doubly better, it was a double box delivery. I think we've had three double boxes in a row now, which is, they don't actually tell you that's gonna happen. Um, but as I've explained before, I just pay my money on the 13th. Actually, coincidence, today is the 13th. Um, I pay my money on the 13th and then I just like, wait for it to come I don't actually like track it I don't know what boxes I'm paying for I just have like a standing order that goes out every time it's the 13th of the month and then just normally one box appears a month but recently two boxes have been appearing each month so I'm not sure if they are like potentially covering for the fact that it's nearly Christmas um hence my Christmas bauble earrings um so maybe they want some time of Christmas so they sent it like earlier than they expected or perhaps it's been backtracked I don't actually know I've lost track but either the way I have two Spooky Box Club unboxings. You'll be pleased to know that this came through DPD. They have gone back to their original courier. I'm not sure if they've been getting complaints or what, um, but I personally didn't really have any issues so like that bad with my Hermes. I just didn't like the fact that they gave me no warning. It was just like, it's been delivered today at this time and then you kind of had to be in. Um, where, whereas DPD are very, like, they send you about 10 emails before you actually get it. Um, so yeah, they sent it through DPD again. As you can see, they put it in this thin plastic, like, wrap again, which is fine. So, I'm hoping once I open these up, I'll be able to, like, tell which theme came first, because I'm pretty sure there was one which was kind of Christmassy sounding coming up at some point. Oh, right. I'm so excited. I did not realize that these were the themes. These, neither of these are the Christmas theme I was thinking of. I think the Christmas theme was called like Snow Chili or something. <laughs> Definitely not called that. It's called like Chili, Cozy Chili or something. We have two, we have Going Batty, which I'm super excited about, but also kind of annoyed at myself because it was when I was choosing what dress to wear, I had this one or I have this exact dress, but with bats and I was like, oh, should I go for bats today? And then I was like, nah, I'm kind of feeling a bit spidery. So. Um, oh well, I'm hopefully this will make up for my lack of bats that I'm wearing today. Um, but we've got Going Batty and we've also got Dark Agenda, which I have to say feels very heavy. Uh, since that gives no clue about the order, I'm just going to quickly go on their Instagram and <laughs> search to see which one they posted about first. Okay, so it goes Dark Agenda, then it's the Batty one, and then the next one after this, so the one that we get next month, is called Creepy Cozy, um, and the picture has like all snow over it, which is why I thought it would be like a Christmas box. So, let's begin with Dark Agenda, which is this one, it's actually the first one I took out. Um, it feels quite heavy, definitely a lot heavier than the other one, so hopefully there'll be something good in there. Um, and just looking at this sticker, it looks like it may be stationary themed, which is exciting. So as you can see, it has like almost like a lined paper effect in the background and then it has all this black scribbles and then it says dark agenda so i don't know if that gives away a lot or if it gives away nothing but let's open it up and find out i've generally been quite like happy with the spooky boxes that we've got recently um so i'm hoping this one will be just as um pleasing i don't think i've actually sold anything from the last like three or four boxes that we've got which is we went through a stage where i was selling more than i was keeping um so that gives you a bit of an idea of how much they've improved in my opinion anyway so let's open this up as always i'll be opening this like as a blind box i won't be looking at what's inside there you go and I'm not even gonna try and predict if there's wormies in here because every time I say there's not going to be there is when I say there is gonna be there's not um, so there's no worms in here at all um, I'm just feeling for the cheap sheet that feels like it may be it yep um, so it looks maybe like pink or purple stripe so I just leave this over here and come back to that later so straight up on top I can feel something that feels like it's in like the opposite of a vacuum packed bag like a um a squishy bag <laughs> almost like um you know that bubble wrap which comes in really big bubbles so it feels like that so i'm just gonna take that out okay turns out it's bubble wrap <laughs> wow <laughs> um so this is the bubble wrap i hope you guys enjoy it um it's in this greenish greenish tinge and it's called an air cushion by ultra pack so that's our first item from spooky box club absolutely love it may sell it haven't decided yet um so next up on top i can feel a pile of sweets and we've got some 
Parama Violets, which are very similar to the ones that they sent last time. I have come to assume from the previous kind of couple of boxes we've got that this means that they no longer will be selling selling sending the gourmet lollies which i'm happy with i never actually ate the gourmet lollies they're just not really my thing um so they've sent us some of these like purple um they sent some before like fizzy ones which were really nice i actually really liked them uh, from what i remember they are like my favorite sweet ever but they're still nice and i probably will eat them I like I'm more likely to eat them than I would the lollies and I have just also noticed on here that they are suitable for vegetarians which is good for any of you guys who don't eat animal products well who don't eat meat sauce to vegans okay so next up um I'll go for this so it feels very small almost squishy so I should probably stop squishing it um and it is this Okay, it looks like it may be a rubber. So straight up, I did think maybe it could be a stationary theme, so I guess that kind of goes with it. I'm assuming maybe there's something else in there that's a bit more stationary, like, kind of related to this, but this is just, like, a black bone rubber. There's no other details, it's just, like, fully black. Um, I just remembered as well, whenever I get a rubber, people always slate me from America, and they're like, yo, <laughs> why are you calling it a rubber? I think um, in America, it's more common to call this an eraser, um, but we call them rubbers in England. So this is a, a bone rubber. <laughs> Great. Um, but it's just plain black. Um, it actually feels quite heavy. It feels like a good kind of quality rubber. Um, but that's the first item. I'm sure this is probably linked to something else in there. So I'll leave that down here with my handy dandy little bag that I got. Um, so next up feels like maybe a pencil case, which is exciting. <gasps> oh my goodness, that's so cute. Oh guys, I love this box already. This is already amazing. Uh, this is the right box. I feel like it's very batty. I'm happy with this. Today is gonna be a bat overload. Let's open this up. So as you guys know, I love the makeup bags. I've literally got my one right here. So this is the Batty um, makeup bag that they sent us. I use this every day and I did actually buy a backup. And this kind of looks very similar. I like the fact that the colours match. Um, so this is just like a little, like I'd say this is like a proper little pants case for uni, which I love because I only ever take like two pens with me. Um, and I can take this on placement with me as well. Um, it's just like plain black on the inside and it has a spooky box club label. Um, and then other than that it's like a regular a regular pants case but it feels like a nice quality it's almost like this le like I think it's like a pleather kind of feel on the outside like a very kind of not quite leather but it's sort of that thick feeling material um, and it has all these black bats stars and moons all over them and then when I open the zip you'll be able to see that it is actually lined in this like satiny kind of black um, material and then there's the little label so it feels like a nice quality um the zip feels nice and like sturdy and chunky um and like it's just very simple but also very spooky so i really like that um i just i love anything stationary and anything like spooky stationary is just amazing i do think this is possibly the first time i've actually filmed in front of the camera since i got my gerbil trev so i'm really sorry if trevor makes any noise because he is literally like there and which is where my microphone is so you may hear him scuttling around so just don't worry i haven't been unfested it's just trevor okay so like straight up now the box feels so empty um i don't feel like we've got much yet but i could be wrong and like thirdly i really love that pants case so i'm happy with that so next up by the feels of it is pencils so i think i can confirm this is a stationary themed box i really hope that simply gothic also got this because she is like my spooky stationary sister um so i really hope she got this too because she loves spooky stationery just as much as me so it looks like they are just purple pencils oh my god that's so cute okay so i love these firstly um the first comment i'm gonna make is why do these pencils have lids on them like what is that about like they have little purple lids on is that because they are sharp because i guess they are very sharp um but it's still a bit weird that they have lids but whatever i've never had a lid on my pencil they are like purple pencils with rubbers on the end and they have little engravings now i love all of the little engravings i will show you up close but before we got this pack of black pencils which were really nice but they said stuff on like um 
what was it? It was like revenge or something on it or like death to whoever. I don't know, I can't remember. It was some weird thing that they wrote on there. I just kind of felt a bit weird writing with a pencil that said revenge. I know it was all meant to be like, ooh, look at me being all mysterious and gothic, but I'm a bit more spoopy than that. Um, so I am loving the fact that they've kind of gone a little bit more like fun with these engravings. So we have, if you've got it, haunt it we have creep it real and then there's also one that says witch please which is so nice they're also like quite um i'd say like subtle they're like not too in your face um but i really really like that and i'd definitely be adding these to my uni pencil case the actual pencils themselves as well seem like a nice quality um if i take the lid off to reveal the super sharp end you'll see that it is just a regular pencil. Um, but I'm also glad that they have sharpened them because it saves me a job. I don't know if that's just me being lazy, but when I get a pencil that isn't sharpened, it takes me way longer to use it than one that comes pre-sharpened. Pretty sure that's a definition of a first world problem. You know what, in fact, I'm gonna put them in my pencil case. Okay, they're not gonna fit in that pencil case um, with the lids on anyway. Once I take the lids off, they will, but um, I wanna blunt the ends because I feel like they've put the ends on because they're so sharp. I don't want to like stab through the pencil case. So anyway, I like those so far. Um, yeah, those are cute. Okay, so next up it feels like we have the pin and it feels like a big pin. Um, it's got one pin back though. And I really can't work out what this shape is. It just feels like a big blob. Maybe like an ink blob or something like that. Oh, that's so cute. I love, oh my God, that's so cute. Okay, so it's like a little to-do list and it has like things to do on there, obviously, because it's a to-do list. It says, to-do list, carve a pumpkin, order pizza, watch scary movies, eat all the candy. And it's got little bats and little stars. I absolutely love that. It does look like a little post-it note. Uh, as I said, it's just got the one thing. That is so cute. So I think I'll just probably put that on my pin jacket for now and then I can decide whether or not later I'm gonna move it. Um, I don't really have that many kind of purpley pink pins. Actually, no, I've got that um, crazy cat lady one um, and the happy camper one, I guess, is really purple. Oh, I know the witch's hat too. Um, I definitely feel like this could have done with having two pin backs, um, but it's still super cute. That's probably gonna be the only thing that puts me off maybe putting it on my uni bag just because I, I feel like this would get lost quite easily. Um, but yeah, let's find a space somewhere. Uh, maybe the other side. Okay, so it has gone through the fabric really nicely, but the actual like butterfly clip on the back isn't really that strong. Like it's literally coming off like just me like fiddling with it. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but it literally just like isn't clicking on. So um, I'm probably just gonna get a different back for that. Um, but actually the pin itself looks really cute now that it's on. And now that it's off of that purple background, you can like see that the corners folded up a bit more. But that is literally adorable. How sweet does this like little um, little thing look? I feel like I need a pizza um, and a pumpkin. Well, I've got this little pumpkin badge, like a pizza and a pumpkin and a scary movie, like little cluster around here to go with the to-do list. But that is so cute. As always, I do love the pins that we get from Spooky Box Club. Okay, so I'm really not sure what else there is in here. There feels like there's something thick, but it doesn't like feel like a notebook. So um, I'm gonna take that out and then, Oh wait, no, that maybe it does feel like there's a notebook at the bottom. I don't know, it feels like there's definitely two more items. So this feels like paperwork with a rubber in it or something. No, what are these? Oh my goodness, they're stamps. How cute is that? They are gothic stamps for planner and journaling enthusiasts, me. Um, versatile stamps with spooky words and icons make everyday spooky 199 clear stamps with acrylic stamping block put your stamps carefully cut around each stamp and attach them to the backing sheet to remove the clear protective film from the acrylic block before you use mount the acrylic block ink it and stamp away wipe clean with a baby wipe um, damp paper towel or wash them with a little bit of soap and water dry the stamp and reattach the protective backing and cover the sheet for storage perfect for all paper crafting right let's get in there that sounds so fun um i'll be interested to use these because i've seen things like this before and never understood how to do it so at least they've given us a instruction sheet um but these are quite cute 
so I'll show you the different ones that there are um obviously the black is just um like an overlay like a separate sheet just to kind of show you what it would look like if they were stamped um but the stamps themselves are actually see-through as you can see there is a ton of different words there's a few little icons some bats and things a little planchette in the corner um, and then the rest are just words that you can like obviously stamp and make titles with. At the top we have like the days of the week and we've got project date, AM, PM, morning, afternoon, evening, appointment. We've got all the numbers, we've got the checklist. Kind of actually now I'm looking at it, it looks almost like um almost like the nightmare before Christmas font. Um text call, email, pay. They're quite very like um they're sort of very I don't know like they're just standard words, they're not really spooky words travel grocery list snack breakfast lunch vegan picnic meal prep chocolate that's what i need um smoothie water birthday valentine's day halloween um christmas anniversary party face mask i'll need that if i'm seeing evie anytime soon fortune teller horoscope witchy okay so it's getting a bit more spooky as you go down um haunted tarot palm reading smudge coven moon phase um, self-cleansing, meditating, hike, woodland. <laughs> There's literally loads on there. This is a really cute idea. Um, and then they gave you this like little acrylic plastic, like it's just a plastic block, um, I guess to put the stamps on and then stamp them down. So I really like that. I think it's a really cute little idea. Um, I honestly don't know how much I'll use it now. I've read the words, but I still think it'd be quite cute. There is like also this little one where it's loads of like little um, glasses of water and I guess you color them in once you've drunk the water. Um, <clears throat> but yeah i feel like that'll be really cute especially for anyone who does a lot of journaling or keeps a diary or anything um because those will be really nice for like adding titles and stuff um but yeah i think that's a, a nice idea and i'd be interested to try them out and see how well they work i definitely feel like um i'm not gonna lie to you i feel like like up until here it's very like normal like everyday kind of stuff and then it's like the last four lines are somewhat like spooky witchy related um but yeah, I still think it's cute and I'm still interested to use it, especially the little bat stamp, even if I just stick the bats on and just use it as a bat stamp. So the last thing in here, I'm going to say it's the last thing, you know, oh, there's two things. Right, I'll go for the thin thing first, thinking maybe it could be stickers or something. Okay, so they've given us, like, they do this very annually, um, a 2019 calendar. I think they just slip this into whichever box is last for the year. Um, but it's got January through to December, six months per side. And for this one, it is just the dark purple. It says 2019 in the background, and there's little bats and cobwebs and things around it. But that is very simple. Um, these are great if you do have like a planner or a diary or anything, you can just hole punch it and stick it in. Um, and it's just handy just to look at quickly. Um, <clears throat> as always, it's on a very nice, like thick card. I'm not gonna take it out just because um, you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to be doing with this yet. So the last thing in here feels like it could be a notebook. It doesn't feel like a notebook with a hard like back or side. It feels maybe like a one that you rip off. Um, but it definitely feels quite thick. Um, so that's white. Oh, I see some ghosties. Oh, cute. So this is like a little weekly planner. I love this. Oh, I'm going to be taking this with me, with me on placement. That is so cute. I've just bought a Simon's Cat Diary as well, but this will definitely be being used instead. Um, let's see if I can get into it without ruining it. I would definitely say that there are um, probably at least 50 in here, so there would be enough for a year. But potentially there could be more because there is quite a lot, as you can see. Um, they feel like a nice, like they, they feel like a really nice thickness. You could just write and then tear it off when you're ready. And um, I just had a plain white background. So we've got little ghosts there, um, clouds, bats, moons. Got this little area for to-do lists, little area for notes, um, and another little ghost down here. Look at that happy ghost. Um, a graveyard scene at the bottom, and then this little thing that says Spooky Box Club. So that is absolutely adorable. I really like this. This is definitely what was adding the weight. Um, you could maybe stick some magnets on the back and put it on your fridge. Um, but I feel like this would be really handy, like for uni. At the moment, I have it all on my laptop. But to just write down like what days I have to do what, um, especially for school placement as well. Um, and I love that it's spooky, but also it's very like sort of subtle and washed out, so it's not too in your face. And I guess if you wanted to, you could use 
the stamps on there as well so yeah i'm really really pleased with this it seems like a really good quality um i definitely feel like like when i look over what we've got um i don't feel like we've got more items in the fact that we now pay more for these boxes but i do feel like the quality of the items has gone up slightly um whereas before we'd kind of get like one really good quality item like for example this and then the rest of that box is enough now they kind of give us um the same sort of amount of items but all of them seem to be a good quality so i'm really really excited about that and i'm super pleased with the pencil case too so let me have a look at the cheat sheet just to check that we got everything in this dark agenda box so we have the 2019 calendar print which is this the ghostly planner desk pad okay so you meant to have this on your desk that's really cute i feel like just having that next to your computer if you have a desk just to jot things down will be super helpful i really really like that Planner stamp and stamps which were these which honestly they feel like a really nice quality but i don't know how much use i'll get out of them the slim bat print pencil case which is these the pencil set with protector caps there you go love that protector cap make sure you stay protected folks um the custom made um pin which i've put on here which i definitely feel like i'm going to be getting a different backing for um the spooky bone eraser which was this i forgot about him um and then the giant palmer violets and then it actually does say um vegan friendly afterwards so although it only says that it is suitable for vegetarians um potentially i guess that means it's also suitable for vegans so i, just, I take back what i said that is the first box that we got i am generally really pleased with that box definitely feel like it was a good box i definitely wasn't expecting like <laughs> today to get a stationery themed box the one that we got which was like spooky stationery i remember being pretty rubbish like there wasn't really that much in there um so um, I feel like this was a really good comeback like I did feel with the stationery box I was like oh it's alright but there was a lot of other things they could do and this is the kind of stuff I liked I also like the fact that they have kind of like yearly kind of planner diary sort of things in there because I feel like definitely as we're coming to the end of December beginning of January that's when people are kind of buying their diaries and their planners and stuff for next year so I guess that's probably why they done it um, so yeah I'm pleased with that box and I'm now super excited to have a look at what's in this bat box um I will open it in a separate video just so this video isn't too long and also just in case someone who's watching has bought either one of these boxes and they don't want spoilers for the other one if that makes sense my throat hurts so much so we're gonna take a little bit of a break I'll probably change my dress to the bat one just so it fits with the theme and I'll be right back to open this going batty spooky box club so thank you very much for watching if you do have any questions comments please leave them down below if you're somewhere you are i hope you're enjoying the shade and i'll see you next time bye